Hey, Calvary, happy day to you. It's Pastor Joe, and today I'm going to talk about our fourth essential belief that we have at Calvary, and you're going to love this one. So if you're fighting with your spouse, this is the one that you want to zero in on. If you're stressed out with your kids, invite them into the room to hear this. Our fourth essential belief is that we believe all people are sinners and need the grace of God. So while you're frustrated, you can just look at your children and say, you are a sinner. And if you're frustrated with your spouse, you can say, you are a sinner. But here's the catch. You also have to look in the mirror and you have to stick your little wagon finger out and you got to point at yourself and say, you are a sinner. Uh, Romans 3.23 tells us, For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Romans 6.23 tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So when we're talking about everybody is a sinner, we have to ask ourselves the question, what does it mean to sin? See, sin is doing, thinking, or saying anything that goes against what God wants for our lives. Well, Pastor Joe, how do I know what God wants for my life? How do I know what fails to meet God's glorious standard? Well, I think that really the Ten Commandments demonstrates what, God's, what God values. It demonstrates God's value system. What He has declared is right. So let's take a look at the Ten Commandments, okay? Uh, uh, number one, you shall have no other gods before me. Second commandment, you shall make no idols. Third commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Fourth commandment, keep the Sabbath day holy. Fifth commandment, honor your father and mother. Sixth commandment, you shall not murder. Seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Eighth commandment, you shall not steal. Ninth commandment, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And tenth commandment, you shall not covet. Now, that's a big list. That's the ten standards. This is what God expects of us. Now, there is sin that exists outside the Ten Commandments, but we don't have to worry about that. We just need to look at the content of what's in that Ten Commandments and ask ourselves this question. Have you ever lied? Uh, if you did, you've sinned and you're guilty of breaking all of God's commandments. Have you ever stolen something? If so, according to Romans 6.23, the rages of sin is death. Not just one sin, the wages of sin, all sin is death. So understand this, you could live a completely perfect life righteous life lie one time and you deserve death. One white lie, one exaggeration. And God says, you failed to meet my glorious standard of perfection. But not just, uh, uh, but not just you, uh, I do too. All have sinned and fall short of God's glorious standard. So I'm not saying this here in Facebook world to condemn anybody. I'm telling you, we have to look in the mirror ourselves and understand that all have sinned and there is a punishment for sin. We earn death because of sin. God is a just God and he's going to give us what we deserve because God is just and fair. But that is precisely why we need the grace of God. See, grace is undeserved kindness. Jesus demonstrated the grace of God to you and I by paying the penalty of death that you and I could not pay. See, if you and I accept the free gift of forgiveness, we will not experience punishment for our sin. You might say, wait, I thought God was just and he was going to give us out what we deserved. Well, he did. He took the punishment for our sin. Because God is a just God, the price for sin 
had to be paid and he paid it for you and I. We will never be able to comprehend how much God loves you and I, but the cross demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While the apostle Paul was thinking about the cross and the price that Jesus paid for him, he wrote these words to the church in Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 3, beginning in verse 14. As Paul was describing the cross, he said this, When I think of all of this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and earth. And I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now to all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask of him. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. What Paul prayed is that we would be able to comprehend and understand the incredible love that he has for you and for I. I want to encourage you to do something for me today. Live today as though you are really convinced that the Lord loves you. Experience the love that God has for you. Find comfort and stretch out in his wide arms of grace. When you do that, you're going to again fall into a foundation of love. Understanding that Jesus paid the penalty for your sin and my sin because he loves us unconditionally. He showed us kindness. And so I would add to this, then show that kindness to that spouse. Show kindness to your parents. Show kindness to your children. Show them undeserved kindness. That's grace. I know that things can be stressing us out sometimes, especially now as we're cooped up in our homes. But when we show grace and kindness to one another, God does a lot in our lives and in our homes. He stretches us. He helps us to become the people that he's wired us to be. I pray that you will have a blessed day. Enjoy your life today. Enjoy your love for Jesus today. And enjoy his love for you today.